Hey, what's up? It's Snell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we'll be listening to Cannibal Corpse, fucking Tomb of the Mutilated, classic, classic fucking New York death metal. Such an awesome record. I love it so much. Just probably the first time a lot of you heard Cannibal Corpse was from this record in Ace Ventura Pet Detective, Hammer Smash Face on the A side. And they had the single, and yeah, just a classic death metal record, and one of my personal fa favorites by Cannibal Corpse. But today, I would like to venture into a, the realm of noise, and the actual extremity of like harsh wall noise, and etc. But the album I would like to, uh, dissect if you will is um full of hell and the bodies split collaboration one day you will ache like i ache this is self-released from the band uh i got this from full of hell the last time i saw them with nails and they'll be playing with nails again along with gate creeper and toxic holocaust here in march so yeah that's a fire ass show i can't wait for it and I couldn't wait to hear this. Comes on this really, really awesome, like, plum color. I'm not sure if the body has different colors, but this is the full hell version, like I said. I got it off those guys. Um, but pretty much, if you know the body, um, they're kind of like a noise duo that put out some of the most interesting and like gnarly music in the past like couple years like it's fucking insane like not since I heard pig heart transplant have I heard such just viciousness like in a noise band like and their latest record uh nobody deserves happiness is just one of the most ugly vicious, hateful, yet amazing albums to come out in a very long time when it comes to the genre of, like, you know, noise, experiment, like, pretty much just anything really experimental, I feel like the body is on top of, including their collaborations with black metal bands, is where I feel like they shine the, the like, really, really well. Um, their split with Krieg was insane. It's so fucking good. Check it out if you have not heard it. it, it it's it's amazing. Same thing with this split with Fool of Hell, which I'm going to get into. But the body has had pretty much like... If they go on tour with you or whatever, you guys probably have a collaboration together. Like, they just did a tour of Alcest. And uh, I missed it, of course. But... I heard that they did some like split like EP or 7 inch with uh, Alcest. Not 100% sure if that's true or not. I just heard it on uh, some message board. Uh, again, don't, I didn't even look into it. But their split with Val is so goddamn good. Like, it's probably my favorite split of theirs. Like, it's just fucking insane sounding and yeah it's truly haunting stuff and I I don't really like using that term but it really is and this is nothing different this is pretty much if there is a such thing as the afterlife and hell exists this is probably the soundtrack along with Evangelist <laughs> I think both records would be on repeat this is an ugly piece of experimental harsh noise with grind elements from full of hell power violence elements again from full of hell and then the body's just electronic and just powering overpowering like guitars and along with just an insane like back and forth of vocals from uh, Full of Hell and The Body because 
uh, I forget the dude's name who does vocals for the body, but he has a very distinct fucking voice, and it's pretty goddamn terrifying. But you also have uh, additional vocals by uh, Chrissy uh, Walpert, and um, they do a fucking Leonard Cohen cover, R.I.P., uh, which is The Butcher, and uh, it's really weird to hear a band, well, a collaboration, because this isn't a split. It's not like one band has one side and one band has another. This is a total collaboration of kind of like-minded bands when it comes to their experimental levels. Like, Fool of Hell has that awesome album with uh, Merzbell, with um, the Noise EP Sister Fawn that you can get as well. That's why I can't wait to fucking see uh, Fool of Hell again. Because last time I saw them, I got into the show early, and this was the only record they had out. So I'm like, alright, I didn't even know this existed on vinyl. I thought it was just a CD and a digital release, because that's what Narot Records said. I had no idea the bands were going to put it out themselves. So, of course, I was going to pick it up, because I knew I probably would never get another chance to get this. So I got it, and I fucking love it. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's a record that you can't listen to every day. I mean, you really need to be pissed off or just in the mood for something different to really, really enjoy this album for what it is. Otherwise, you're probably just going to not be annoyed, but just you're, you're probably going to want to want to go for something more cohesive from either band like with full of hell you have like so much good like power violence and like grindy stuff on their older material like uh on um uh, i fucking forget the name of their albums off the top of my head god damn it it's like the roots of something and whatever but anyway full of hell's regular albums like, where there's, like, some electronic and, like, harsh noise elements, the main concentration is vicious, grinding power violence and uh, a little bit of hardcore. I mean, I think they just have a lot of hardcore ethics, and that's why they tour with a lot of hardcore bands as well as metal bands. Like, they just did a tour with Entombed AD. Like, that that's awesome, but these dudes are constantly on tour, and Fool of Hell are constantly putting out awesome collaborations and splits with bands. This being probably my second favorite. First being the Merzbow split. Because it's so fucking good. And this is just, like I said, it's, some, it's a completely different type of monster. Like... Just from the, the starting track and the title track, One Day You Will Ache Like I Ache, if you've never heard, like, a noisy, experimental album, you're automatically just gonna be fucking, like, hit by a freight train of sonic anger, and it's gonna be either awesome, or you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Like, there's too much going on, this guy sounds like he's fucking getting murdered. And yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite things about some of the vocals. It seriously sounds like someone's getting stabbed to death. It's so fucking good. It's haunting. It really sticks with you. Like I said, though, like the Leonard Cohen cover is a little weird and kind of out of place. But it's not like it's bad or anything. And... The Little Death is probably my favorite track on this. There's a couple tracks missing that are on the CD version that are not on the vinyl version. And there's songs that are on the vinyl version that are not on the CD version. It's very, very confusing. But one of the main reasons I wanted to talk about this, and I'm running out of time already. I really need to figure this out to get longer videos. But awesome artwork awesome music if you have an open mind but I just want to get into this noise and stuff like that is not the same thing as drone 
Like, yes, experimental music can be whatever you really want it to be. And there's a lot of bands that have been doing this type of stuff for a very long time. See Swans. And Swans are still putting out amazing albums. Like, yeah, they're not as crushing as, like, Public Castration is a Good Idea, Filth, Cop, all that good shit from the early 80s. Like, if you listen to early 80s Swans in their extreme era, it's some of the heaviest music ever. Big Napalm Death influence, big influence on everybody. But here's the thing. Don't get noise confused with drone sun is a drone band now this is black one it's pretty much it features like pretty much a who's who of US black metal at the time this came out like you had rest from Leviathan you had fucking uh, malefic from Zatzer um, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else who you would recognize but you have like a fucking mayhem cover. You have Cursed Realms of the Winter Demons by Immortal. Um, yeah, you got Candle Goat, which Dead wrote, R.I.P. But uh, yeah, uh, very special guests are uh, Oren, Ambaki, Malefic, John Wise, and Rest. And now. A lot of people hate on Sun, call it boring, but what I can tell you is this is not noise, this is just some of the heaviest, most just monolithic post black metal drone album that there is. Like, don't get me wrong, I do love monoliths and dimensions by Sun. I love the Grim Robe demos, but that's about it. Like, seriously, it's the same thing with, like, Earth. I love Earth 2, and then I love some of the, like, country style of Earth, like, um, The Bees and Honey in the Skull or whatever that uh, album's called. It's amazing. But Dylan Carlson knows what's up, and I really do feel like this album... They were aiming for something, and that was post-black metal, like, the way that post-metal was really popular around this time period. I think that they just, you know, by getting all these black metal superstars, pretty much, to perform on this, you kind of had this, you know, is this black metal? Like, what is it, really? Because... Like I said, like black metal can really be whatever you want it to be, but there's specific things that you have to have in order for it to be black metal. But, you know, like I said, you can kind of do it any way you want. And, I mean, you have malefic rest. Like, you, got, you have guys that put out some of the best U.S. black metal ever collaborating on this drone masterpiece and yeah I think this is a good album and I enjoy it even though most people will say it gives them a headache I really really I like it and it's the same way that I like this collaboration with Full Health and the body it's just different it's something loud it's something brutal it's just something that as like as vicious and hateful as it sounds, there is some positivity in it. And that's the creative outlet that music allows human beings to explore and experience. Because most people would hear 25 seconds of this and be like, Alright, I'm done. Let's listen to Screeching Weasel or something. Or, you know, let's go rent a movie at Blockbuster. That's not going to happen, but... Anyways, there is a big difference between noise, drone, harsh noise, and etc, etc. But if you've ever heard the power violence band Iron Lung, the band Pig Heart Transplant I was talking about, they have a, uh, another band that is pretty harsh noise, and that's Pig Heart Transplant. 
I cannot suggest that record enough. It's so good. Check that band out. Peace.